Section 8.2 is on algebraic vectors, so we're still dealing with vectors. Um, we are just now representing them on a coordinate plane, and we're going to be looking at them algebraically. So we're going to talk about representing vectors using ordered pairs. Um, and by ordered pairs, I just mean like a point, x, and y. So for example, a vector can be written as the ordered pair 4 and 2. We use these... Um, kind of triangular brackets to indicate it's not a point, but in fact a vector. But it's used the same way. 4 represents our x-coordinate, 2 represents our y-coordinate. So if I were going to graph that, I would go out 4 and y, and x, 1, 2, 3, 4, and up 2 and y. And that would be, this is now the terminal point of my vector. My initial point is at the origin. So my initial point is 0, 0, my terminal point is 4, 2, and that is how I would draw a vector in what is called standard position. So vectors can be made of two points, and given two points for a vector, we have an initial point, P1, and a terminal point, P2. We write those as an ordered pair, so the first point would be x1 and y1, the second point would be y, x2 and y2. Um, so a vector between those two points, p1 and p2, is represented um, by the difference of the x-coordinates and the difference of the y-coordinates. So we do x2 minus y1, y, x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, and then its magnitude um, we get this through the Pythagorean theorem. Um, and when we do that, we end up what, with what looks like the distance formula here, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, and you take the square root of, it, of that. So given any two points, you can find both the vector that's represented and its magnitude. So here's an example. Write the ordered pair that represents the vector from A, the point A, 7, negative 3, and the point B, negative 2, negative 1, and then find its magnitude. So the first thing I want to say is I want to write AB um, as, as an ordered pair. So I'm going to say AB equals x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1. If I look here, 7 would be x1, 3 would be y1, negative 2 would be x2, negative 1 would be y2. So I can just plug those values in. I'm going to have negative 2 minus 7, comma, negative 1 minus negative 3. When I simplify that, I have negative 9 and positive 2. So the ordered pair that represents that vector is negative 9 2. If I want the magnitude of B, of AB, I'm going to take the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. I already found x2 minus x1. That was negative 9. So I'm going to have negative 9 squared plus um, y2 minus y1 I already found, 2 squared. That's going to be the square root of 81 plus 4, which is root 85. So the magnitude of that vector would be root 85. So now I would like you to try an example just like we did. Right now, write the ordered pair that represents the vector from the two points x is negative 3, 5, y is 4, negative 2, and then find their magnitude. Okay, now we have what are called vector operations. So much like numbers, we can add, subtract, and multiply um, two vectors together. So when I look here, I have two vectors, A and B. A is made up of two coordinate points, X and Y. B is made up of two coordinate points, X and Y. Um, to add those two vectors together, I simply add the first coordinates, the X coordinates, and I add the Y coordinates, and I get a new vector point um, that is the combination of A and B. I do the exact same thing for subtraction. I just subtract A1 and A2 and subtract B1 and B2. For scalar multiplication, um, I take K as a scalar. It just means it's a number. 
I multiply it by the x and the y coordinate, so I end up with the number times a1, or x, and the number times a2, or y. And here's how you might use that. So, um, for the vector u, 1, negative 4, and the vector v, 0, 8, we are going to find um, the following operation. So, u plus v, all I'm going to do is add my a coordinates or my x coordinates, so that's going to be 1 plus 0, and then I'm going to add up my y coordinates, negative 1 plus 8. And when I simplify that, I get 1, 4. So u plus v is the vector 1, 4. u minus v, same idea, 1 minus 0, negative 4 minus 8, my x's and my y's. Then I end up with the vector 1, negative 12. For scalar multiplication, I'm going to say 1 half times vector v, 0, 8. I just distribute that 1 half in, so that's 0, 4. Um, for this one, I need to do a couple steps. First, I'm going to find 2 times vector u and then 3 times vector v, and then I will add them together. So 2u is going to be 2 times 1, negative 4, which will give me the vector 2, negative 8. 3v will give me 3 times 0 and 8, which will give me 0 and 24. And then I'm going to say 2u plus 3v. Now I'm just going to add up the x-coordinates and the y-coordinates together. So I'll have 2 plus 0 and negative 8 plus 24, which will give me the vector 2, 16. Okay, so I now would like you to try one of these as well. I'm giving you three vectors this time, m, n, and p. You're going to add up m and p, subtract m and n, um, multiply p by 7, and then a nice big one here, um, 3m plus 3n minus vector p. So try that one out. Okay, the last thing we want to talk about quickly is something called a unit vector. Um, a unit vector, much like our unit circle with a radius of 1, is a vector with a magnitude of 1. Um, so a zero vector had a magnitude of 0, a unit vector has a magnitude of 1. So if we look at that on a coordinate plane, um, the vector in the x direction we call i, so this is vector i here. The vector in the y direction we call j, that's vector j. They both have a magnitude of 1, so they are going out um, to 1 in both directions. Um, so we have a unit vector i and a unit vector j. And the trick with these, um, unit vector i, this is the vector 1, 0, much like x and y, x over 1, up and down 0. j is the vector 0, 1. Um, so any vector a, um, where you have a coordinate a1 and a2, or x and y, can be expressed as um, a1 times the unit vector i plus a2 times the unit vector j. And that comes from using scalar multiplication. If we say a1 times the unit vector i is 1, 0, plus a2 times unit vector j is 0, 1, I distribute that. That's a, the vector a1, 0, plus the vector a, a 0, a2. And when I add up the first terms and the second terms, I get the vector a1, a2. So you can see here I ended up with the definition of vector a. So any vector, you just take the x-coordinate or the first coordinate, multiply it by the unit vector i, and you take the second coordinate and multiply it by the unit vector j. And here's how we would use that. We would want to write a, b as the sum of the, two, of the unit vectors if a is 2, negative 7, and b is 1, 5. So what I want to do first is I'm going to write these as an ordered pair. So write as an ordered pair. Okay, and to do that, I'm going to say vector AB is going to be, this is like our first example. We're going to do, um, this is x1, y1, x2, y2. I'm going to write um, x2, minus x1, and then y2 minus 
y1, watching my negatives all the time. This gives me the vector negative 3 and the vector um, po uh, and positive 12. So the vector AB is negative 3, 12. My second step is I'm now going to write as the sum of um, the unit vectors. Write as the sum of unit vectors. So all I do is I take that negative 3, my x-coordinate, and I multiply it by the vector i, and I add it with the um, y-coordinate 12, and I multiply it by the vector j. So that would be how I rewrite the vector ab as a sum of two unit vectors. How that looks on the coordinate plane is I have my x-coordinate and my y-coordinate. This means I have three um, unit vectors on the x-coordinate because it's i. These are three. This is basically negative 3x. This is basically positive 12y. So in the x direction, I'm going back three units, negative 3. In the y direction, I'm going positive 12 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You get the idea. 9, 10, 11, 12, somewhere way up here. So I have the point here. I have the point here, which is the point negative 3i, 12. So I look something like that. That would be the unit vector negative 3i plus 12j, um, or ab as we had it named there. So we went um, this direction, negative 3i. This direction, we went positive 12j. And I combine those two points in a very poorly drawn graph. Um, but hopefully you get the idea. Okay, so finally I would like you to try one of those. Write AB as the sum of the unit vectors. A is 4, negative 1. B is 6, 2. And then make sure to draw them on the coordinate plane like I just did there um, so you can see how they're represented graphically. Okay, um, thank you for listening, and we will do some more examples in class tomorrow. Have a good night.